This first color is called Dating a Royal. This is one of the first darker blues that I purchased. This was another one of those classic OPI colors that I saw. I think I first saw it on Scrangy and then, um, you know, various makeup and nail polish YouTube channels and it went pretty immediately onto my wish list. It is a royal blue cream. It does look pretty thin on the first coat, um, but it builds up pretty well. I remember Makeup by Tiffany D um, wore this for like so long and it was like one of her favorite blues and I remember every time I watched her video and she was wearing it I would like change my nail polish out to be this color um, so that's the first coat of Dating a Royal. I'm gonna go in now with the second coat of Dating a Royal and you can see that it actually gets pretty much fully opaque in two coats again it's one of those classic OPI cream polish formulas that's super easy to use and just you know very opaque in two coats. So that is two coats of Dating a Royal. So I am going to keep this one, at least for now. I am probably going to end up comparing this to other blues that I have, um, not only in the rest of this video, but just in the rest of my collection. But it is a very easy dark blue for me to use, so I am going to keep it. This next color is called Keeping Susie at Bay. This was from the San Francisco collection. Color-wise, it's actually very, very similar to um, Dating a Royal. It is also a royal blue cream. I would say it's a little bit more saturated than Dating a Royal was color-wise. Um, I feel like Dating a Royal has like just one drop of like a slight gray or dusty tone to it, whereas Keeping Susie at Bay is a little bit more saturated and a little bit brighter of a royal blue. So that's the first coat of Keeping Susie at Bay. I'm gonna go in now with the second coat of Keeping Susie at Bay, and this one also gets opaque in two coats. Um, that first coat actually went on pretty opaque and pretty easily, so the second coat is actually um, really easy to layer on top of, like there's nothing really to drag or to go patchy. Um, so yeah, this was also a very nice polish to work with. So this one I'm actually going to de-stash as much as I like the formula and how easy it went on. Um, it's just color-wise too close to Dating a Royal and I actually wear Dating a Royal more, like I haven't picked this polish up in a while, so this one is going to get de-stashed. This color is called St. Mark's the Spot. This was from the Venice collection. Um, this is a blue shimmer, like a sort of frosty blue shimmer, but it's got a really bright blue tone to it. It's got this like 90s blue shimmer to it. And um, I had a color just like this when I was in like fourth and fifth grade, which is why I've kept this color so long, like nostalgically. It's a color that I really loved wearing when I was little. Um, at the first coat, it actually applies pretty nicely. It has a nice amount of opacity to it. I'm going to go in now with the second coat of St. Mark's The Spot. And this actually goes opaque in two coats. Um, this is one of the Venice colors that I actually did like. Some of the colors that I purchased from that collection, I did a video of the Venice collection. Um, and I had purchased only a couple, and then I actually purchased a few more after that video. I ended up de-stashing those polishes that I bought in the second round of purchasing um, before I told anyone that I actually bought them, but um, this is one of the colors in the overall haul, I guess, of the Venice colors that I actually um, think I liked. So yeah, that is St. Mark's the Spot. You can see in two coats that it goes pretty much fully opaque and the color deepens a little bit, but you get a nice bright shimmer running through there. So this one I actually think I'm going to de-stash. I do like the color. I did like the formula, but it's very similar to China Glaze's Frostbite. Um, and I actually think I like that one a little bit more than this one. So this one I am going to de-stash. This color is called Give Me Space. This was from the Starlight Collection, the Space Collection that I have mentioned a couple of times in this first Swatch My Stash video. This is a inky space sort of blue with a hollow micro glitter running through it. Um, the micro glitter, I feel like it's, I feel like it's like speckly. It's not, um, 
it's not a uniform glitter. It's that sort of shard glitter, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, this is okay in one coat. It has that sort of squishy translucent base to it, like almost a jelly base to it. So it is a little bit sheer, but it builds up pretty well. So that's the first coat of Give Me Space. So I'm going to go in now with the second coat of Give Me Space. And you can see that it makes the color a little bit darker. It is actually fully opaque and that speckle comes out a little bit um, more like contrasted against the back. Um, it shines through pretty well. You get a little bit of depth in there because of that slightly jelly base and um, it's nice and twinkly. So that is two coats of Give Me Space. This polish I do like. I do like the way it looks and I liked the way it applied. Again, I just don't use it. Like I haven't picked it up I don't think since this collection came out so I am gonna have to pass on it as pretty as it is. This is called On Her Majesty's Secret Service. This is from the Skyfall collection by OPI. Um, this is like a steel blue glass fleck with gold and um, it's like a, I don't know, it's really hard to explain, like a pinky, sort of shifty, brassy glass fleck. Um, it's really sheer on the first coat, as most glass flecks are, so I am going to have to do multiple coats, but you can see the color, ba color base pretty nicely in the first coat, and it's that sort of, um, you know, steely blue sort of color. So that is the first coat of On Her Majesty's Secret Service. I'm going to go in now with the second coat of her On Her Majesty's Secret Service. This builds up the color pretty nicely. It gives a little bit more shimmer and a little bit more depth, but it definitely is not opaque yet, so I am going to have to do a third coat. I'm going to go in now with the third coat of On Her Majesty's Secret Service, and you can see that this does pretty much get the polish opaque. Um, it adds a lot more shimmer, and you can see the different tones of shimmer now. So you can see that sort of brassy, pink, shifty color. Um, there's a little bit of like a blue in there as well, but primarily you see the gold glass fleck. So yeah, that is three coats of On Her Majesty's Secret Service. So this one I am going to keep just to compare it to some Zoya colors that I have. I just want to make sure that I don't have anything that's totally identical to this in my Zoya collection. So for now, I am going to keep on Her Majesty's Secret Service. It just started raining so hard. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but um, this next color they're going to show you is called Roadhouse Blues. This was from, I think it was called the Touring America collection. Um, this That was the collection I felt like that sort of introduced, or it came out when all of, not just jewel tones, but like um, desaturated jewel tones came out. So this one, there was like this one, and like a murky green, and a really um, grayed out purple, like a dark grayed out purple that came out. This is a s almost purpley looking dark blue cream. Um, and again, it's not like a super saturated color. It's got a little bit of a dusty tone to it. So that is the first coat. I'm going to go now with the second coat of Roadhouse Blues. And this gets the polish fully opaque and makes it a little bit more blue toned than purple toned. I felt like in that first coat you could it looked really purpley, um, but the when you get it opaque, it definitely reads much more blue than it looks in that first coat. Um, so that is two coats of Roadhouse Blues. So this one is another one that I'm going to keep for now. I just want to make sure I don't have anything else in my collection that's like this. I love that this is a, such a dark blue that it looks sort of like a, it's like an alternative for black in my collection. Um, and it's a really nice go-to fall color for me. So yeah, that is Roadhouse Blues. So this color is called Incognito in Sausalito. This was also from the uh, San Francisco collection. This is a dark blue. It's another alternative for black sort of blue, but it has a teal tone to it. Um, this is actually really opaque in one coat, almost completely opaque, as you can see. It is like, it's a really nice nail polish. So yeah, I'm actually just gonna do the one coat for this. Um, and I totally forgot this is a one coater. And yeah, it's a nice surprise. So this one I am gonna keep 
for now again. This is one I want to also compare to some other darker teals that I have and just see, you know, how it stands. And it was a really nice formula. So that is Incognito and Sal Salito. So this color is called OPI You're So Euro. Um, sorry that my nails are so stained. It's a blue nail polish day and this was bound to happen. This is a really bright like cobalt blue cream. Um, and it also has actually a very nice formula to it. As you can see, it's pretty much opaque in one coat. It's not completely opaque, so I am gonna do a second coat, um, but it's very easy to use. So that is the first coat of You're So Euro. I'm gonna go in now with the second coat of You're So Euro. This gets the color a little bit deeper, um, but it really just does it really just does make it more opaque and a little bit brighter. So um, that is the second coat of Your So Euro. I think Your So Euro came from the Euro Central collection. I'm not entirely sure though, but I'm assuming because it's called Your So Euro. So yeah, that is two coats of Your So Euro. So this is another one I am just going to keep to compare. I have a couple in mind that I want to compare this to. Um, one from Orly and some other brands. So yeah, this and like one from China Glaze. And so this one is just going to be kept for comparison's sake. So this color is called Russian Navy. This is another really old polish in my collection. This is one of those colors that I saw first on Scrangie and I absolutely had to have it. I tracked it down on an e-tailer and it was in one of my first OPI hauls. Um, this one is a navy shimmer. Um, it has a little bit of a purple tone to it because the shimmer in it is um, like red. It's like a reddy purpley color. So when layered up, the color ends up looking a little bit purple on the nail. Um, this color I actually really like to wear matte. It's the most beautiful matte color um, when you put a matte top coat on this. So that's the first coat of Russian Navy. So I'm going to go now with the second coat of Russian Navy. And you can see that it gets pretty much opaque in two coats. So that is the second coat. Um... This is a color that I actually pull out very often in the winter because it's another really beautiful alternative to black. And again, I wear this matte most of the time because I just feel like the the shimmer and like the naviness of it comes out better when it's matte. So yeah, that is two coats of Russian Navy. So this one I am going to keep. Again, it's a go-to color for me. I love the way that it looks. I love the way that it looks matte. And... Um, it's just a beautiful color. So that is Russian Navy. So this last color today is called Into the Night. I think this was from the Space Collection, the Starlight Collection, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, and I totally just knocked the bottle over. This is another shimmery color, but it's got a little bit more of a purpley tone to it. And it's on the thinner side. It's like a blackened indigo, I would say or like a blackened, I don't know, purpley blue, blurple. There you go, it's a blackened blurple. So that is the first coat of Into the Night. I'm gonna go in now with the second coat of Into the Night, and it builds up the color a little bit more, but this color is definitely on the sheer side, so it's not quite opaque yet, but the blue shimmer, the blurple shimmer in the blackened base, definitely stands out more in that second base or that second coat. So I am going to do, I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I'm going to do a third coat. I'm going to go in now with the third coat of Into the Night and this does get it fully opaque and the color, the shimmer definitely becomes a little bit brighter and a little bit more apparent with that third coat. Um, so yeah, that's three coats of Into the Night. So this color I am going to de-stash just because I don't wear it very often and it's got a thinner formula and I feel like I have a couple of blue shimmers to choose from over here that I already kept and yeah, I don't know. This one, although it is really pretty with that slightly purple tone to it, I just don't wear it very often. So that is the video for this week. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and if you could subscribe, that would totally make my day. I'll have another Swatch My Stash video for you guys next week, and I will hopefully have a favorites video for you guys up during the week, 
And then otherwise, I will see you guys soon.